What's up, guys? Welcome back to JB Breaks Free. So happy that you're here. Hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, trying to get a little bit better than yesterday. I'm trying to do the same. And quick little life update here about the status of my employment. Well, our restaurant is closing for one day out of the week as of now. It is turning into Wednesdays being closed permanently until further notice. I don't know if it's just going to be for the summer. I don't think my boss is going to go back on it. And I don't blame him. He's been doing this job for over 30 years. Um, we cannot get any help in the kitchen. I'm sure that's everywhere. You see all the help wanted signs. And the restaurant industry really got crushed by that during the pandemic, you know, for many different reasons. But it's just we can't staff it. And you know, he doesn't want to kill himself doing this anymore. Like I said, he's been doing it over 30 years. Um, he golfs Wednesdays, you know, during the summer. And and then, you know, you get another chef that calls in and we're not going to be able to do it on the weekends either. So it's really, and it's, and it's a guy who calls in a lot. It's really just a very tentative situation that I'm in. But I could survive four-day weeks, shockingly, as a waiter because I'm in a spot to make decent tips and also because I've put myself in the position to be able to do that these last few years, working hard um, at paying down every single cent of debt and also finding a another job that I really enjoy doing, which is Instacart, which I talk a lot about on here, and then even some more food delivery things, which are not quite as prevalent in my side hustle rotation. I do that as kind of just a, a backup, plus flipping and everything else and living within my means and saving the amount of income that my wife and I save. And I'll have a um, an, an April savings rate reveal uh, for the next video, and it did go down. Um, March was awesome. Not much was really going on, so we saved a ton. April, we had some things come up. You know, things are always going to come up, So, but we still had a good saving rate, but I'll talk a little bit about that in the next video. But so, okay, we're down to four days a week, and today is Wednesday. It's the first official Wednesday that we are off, and I had actually taken a couple Wednesdays off the last month or so um, just to kind of have a day here and there because I could. But okay, so now I'm in the position where I'm working four days a week with my main job. And I'm also putting a bunch of hours in for Instacart, which I just love. I love it. I don't know why. It's something that I do as almost play. You know, they say find work that you think is play. And, you know, I've been lucky to work at a good restaurant, even though it is crazy at times. And I'm lucky to find Instacart enjoyable and somewhat lucrative. I was out there today. I went pretty hard from about 8.30 to about 1.30 and um, made about 80 bucks. But, you know, today was a bit of a grind and it was a lot of driving. But I was driving around today smiling in the 50 degree, 55 degree weather and rain that was coming down. And I smiled I looked around just at the, you know, the lake I drove by or just kind of like the wet raininess, but you could still see all the beautiful green leaves budding and flowers budding. And I was like, I'm free in a way. I'm free. I'm not stuck in an office. I'm not stuck in a restaurant. I'm not stuck at a job that I hate. Um, you know, I, I, I smiled and I, I thought that I was free, but where the pressure comes in as so now we, we have three waiters on staff one's a waitress and she's leaving soon and she's going to be missed she's awesome and so we're, we're about to find somebody else and the position that that third server has is going to be offered is tuesdays friday and saturdays and myself and i myself and the other waiter we've been there you know close to 15 years each um, him, him a little bit less than me i'm senior man very proud of that and so we have to alternate tuesdays now because whoever's going to work at the restaurant needs at least three days, you know. So the new person is going to come in and the person who's there now is going to do Tuesdays. And myself and the other waiter rotate Tuesdays. So now we are going to be out of the restaurant from Sunday and Monday, our typical two days off. 
and I do work on Mondays. I do my side hustle on Monday. Uh, so it's going to be two days a week now that I'm not going to be there. So after Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, every other week, I am not going to be at my main job. And that's scary. And that's what happens when you drop down a day. And it's just how the restaurant gods work. Last night, it was kind of slow. Um, we barely made $100, barely. And like, that's not usually a thing. Usually we, we do pretty well there. I mean, we barely had it last night. And it's almost like the restaurant gods were like, no, you're not being busy tonight going into your um, indefinite shutdown on Wednesdays. And so that puts more pressure on. There's going to be half of the year, I'm only going to be at my main job three days a week as of now. And that's a little scary, you know, but so I have to really supplement that with another job, which is going to be Instacart. And usually all the Instacart, now every cent that I made before the mortgage was paid off uh, went to the mortgage. Now every cent I make from Instacart goes to the brokerage, which is kind of a, you know, an investing account, savings account that we're just building up. And I hope to use that one day to buy even more of my freedom. But you know what? I'm kind of at peace with it because I'm free. I'm out of the rat race, um, at least self-employed now for three, for mo the majority of the week. I'm going to have a boss who I like and respect for three days a week, every other week. And you know what? I'm kind of cool without being without a boss for, you know, four days a week, five days a week. Um, just doing Instacart pretty hard. I will do it like a real job almost on Tuesdays and Wednesdays on those other opposite weeks. I'm going to do it from when I drop the kids off to school to when they get home to about three o'clock and see where that gets me and do that basically five days a week, well, maybe four because Mondays is still kind of my off day for real. And, you know, I'll do it for a little bit, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, go hard in Sikar until the kids get out of school and until I have to go to my job. And then Saturdays I usually get up in a garage sale and thrift sale and all that stuff and I'll do some batches also and if worst came to worst I would do it on Sunday too but I've thought a lot about taking less money you know less money for happiness that's always I've never had the guts or the balls to do it um, but now it's kind of being forced on me and so less money for happiness how is that going to turn out I want to get so it's going to be less stress, a lot less stress. The kitchen that I work at, it's tough. If you do your job, it's okay. But man, it's, you know, it's, uh, I'm robotic in my moves because that's how I was brought up. It's just boom, 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 get this done. And while well, Instacart is a little bit more free, I'm on my own. There's no boss over my shoulder. When I'm driving, I can listen to a fun podcast or an, or an educational podcast. And I can kind of come in and out through shifts, do the dishes, do errands, list stuff for sale, have more time with my family at night. So you know what? I am breaking free from that and I think I'm okay because I'm not going to make as much money. But I always think like, yeah, you can chase money if you want to and that's fine. Stack it up 100K and I was making some good money the last few years, but to take a little bit less and to really be happy and healthy and free and I think that's what I want to do. And the other, and I want to make a video about less money for more happiness. I want to, I want to explore that topic more. And I also want to explore the topic of, am I doing meaning, meaningful work with my life? I mean, it's kind of, you feel weird. You feel weird enough just being a waiter. Okay, you're a waiter. You're just a waiter. You know, I used to have that mentality and a waiter can't invest. What's a waiter going to know about the stock market? What's a waiter going to know about this or that? But then I was like, no, BS. I started learning and started being comfortable. I'd, I'd overhear my boss talking about stocks and stuff, and I don't talk about it with him now because I hustle in private. But, you know, and then, okay, I'm a grocery shopper for four days a week, and I'm a waiter. It's just like, I don't know what people will think of that. But you know what? I'm happy. I've carved out a life where I'm basically free during the days, do my little bit of work at night. I'm out driving around. I grinded hard today for five hours and did what I had to do. I'm not sitting on my butt at all. And, you know, I'm going to list some things for sale tonight and try to just better myself physically, financially, emotionally, spiritually, just kind of keep growing all around. But 
that's where I'm at. Working three to four days a week now in the rat race and supplementing that with side hustles. And I do see myself being happier and healthier. And when my turn comes up this following week, they have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off of my real job. You know, half of that is the weekend. But Tuesday and Wednesday off of my real job, I'm going to be out there grinding hard. I'm not going to be I'm sitting on my butt. I'm going to make as much money as I can through Instacart. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to eat right. I'm not going to be stressed. And that stress isn't going to push me towards vices of junk food and cigarettes or alcohol or any other time wasters. I'm going to really embrace it, embrace my freedom, keep hustling, keep grinding, trying to get a little bit better than yesterday. I hope this video finds you well. Um, love this community, 150 subscribers. So cool. Um, let's keep building it up. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the next video.